Hello everyone, I'm going to make a brief video regarding um, Ocean City, Maryland reopening tomorrow. If you are not aware, per Mayor Rick Meehan, he announced earlier back on Tuesday, May the 5th, that Ocean City, Maryland Beach will be reopened. The boardwalk will be reopened. And of course, there are proper social distancing guidelines, as you will see in a report from WJZ in just a second. So kudos to a Baltimore affiliate, TV affiliate. WJZ is from Baltimore, Channel 13. So they actually did send someone over there. So kudos. Really got to give them kudos. Especially how a lot of people in Baltimore are going to pay attention to this news so uh, in this video i just want to quickly mention that if you are planning to be in ocean city tomorrow i'm going to give you a list of a couple restaurants from delmarvanow.com i will be putting them in the description below so um i'm going to read this article from the salisbury daily times this is written by taylor Goebel. so i will be putting this in the description below as well as citing um the report from WJZ, I will be putting that link in the description below. So if you want to see the link for WJZ, I'll put that there as well. So it is that time of the year when coastal Delaware and Maryland beaches awake from their winter long hibernation and get ready to serve the beach bound masses. But the coronavirus pandemic will likely change the face of summer at the beach this year. You could see social distancing on the boardwalks, fewer people on the beach even mask on servers if restaurants are permitted to reopen for dining, which would, of course, be up to Governor Larry Hogan to make that call. Now, the thing with Ocean City, Maryland is they're their own municipality, so they control the beach. So it's up to the mayor and the city council to make a decision in Ocean City in that regard. But as far as everything else opening... Once again, that's up to Governor Larry Hogan if he's going to make the call if everything will be reopening. Now, if anybody is assuming that amusement rides are going to be open, that's not the case. There will be no amusement rides opening in Ocean City. So, Jolly Roger won't be available if you're wondering at the moment. The boardwalk location and, of course, the other location on Coastal Highway, they will not be open. Uh... Also, just want to mention uh, Funland and Rehoboth Beach and the Freeman Stage in Selmyville. They have postponed opening until further notice. So, uh, I just want to go specifically into Ocean City. I just want to quickly mention Delaware beaches are still closed. So, if you have any intentions to go to Rehoboth Beach, uh, don't even think about going to Rehoboth, Bethany, or Dewey because they're closed. Even Fenwick is closed. So don't even attempt that. Because I think John Carney's being a little bit slow with the rollout. And thankfully, I know tomorrow, Delaware's starting. I think it's tomorrow or sometime next week. I don't know. But I'll uh, look into that story tomorrow because I've already did uh, another video earlier on Virginia reopening. So... I'll get to that tomorrow. Okay. Um, once again, Delaware towns are holding off. So, um, if you are going to Ocean City tomorrow, the following will be available for takeout delivery and even curbside pickup. So, let's go to Thrasher's French Fries on Atlantic Avenue, 401 S Atlantic Avenue. The nostalgic golden brown colt favorite is reopening at the pier this weekend. They will be open on Saturday tomorrow and on Mother's Day Sunday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can order your fries at the counter. You can call ahead at 410-289-7232 or you can go online and put your credit card and you'll be good from there. For orders made by phone or online, um, you can call Thrashers from the inlet parking lot and they will bring your fries to you. So if... The good news is the inlet parking lot on the south end of Ocean City will be open. So you do want to get French fries from Thrasher's? You can do that. So uh, you might want to consider driving in from Salisbury even because it's only a half hour drive. 
So keep that in mind. And also mention if you are going to Thrasher's, just take 50. Because why would you need to take 90 and then deal with all those traffic lights on Coastal Highway? Not really necessary. Much better to just worry about the lights by the gateway, I guess. Okay, um, Fraggers, Iowa, the Bayfront Landmark is having a drive through deck party this upcoming Monday from 4 to 7 p.m. DJ Greg is on board for music. So they're going to actually have live music. You, you go in your car... And you're going to listen to live music on Monday afternoons. So that would be perfect. Okay. Um, once again, takeout will be available. You can get barbecue chicken or beef rib platters with baked beans and coleslaw for $14 and cold beer to go. Once again, takeout only. They are not doing delivery. Uh, the address is 201 60th Street. So that's right by Coastal Highway. So that's excellent. Um, two more... Um, Two more I'm going to get into. Um, 28th Street Pit and Pub, 2706 Philadelphia Avenue. And the joint's limited to go menu. Still includes pulled pork wings, picked chicken, and beef brisket, as well as the requested sides. You can call 410-289-2020 to make an advance order. And lastly, Fisher's Popcorn. Yes, so if you want... Your caramel popcorn, you will be able to get that at 200 South Atlantic Avenue. Curbside service is available by calling 888-395-0335 or order at mobilefishespopcorn.com. Credit card is preferred. Okay, so do I have the WJZ article? Okay, no, I do not. I'll just have to go into history. See if I can find it. Looks like I am able to pull it up. Okay, good. We are able to pull it up. Whoa, sorry, folks. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um. Once again, according to WJC, Ocean City, Maryland will reopen its beach and boardwalk Saturday. Once again, just gave you options for food if you will be down there this weekend or sometime during the week. Chuck Neglo, who owns Vacation Home, says... I think something has to give a little bit, and it has to start somewhere. That I agree with. Mike Helgren is the reporter who did that story on WJZ, so I will end the video by playing the report. Um, they do have signs ready to go. So as you can see here in this little tidbit, physical practice physical distancing of six feet. Of course, there will be police on the boardwalk to enforce that. Okay, so here's the thing. Earlier this week, WMDT, the ABC affiliate for Salisbury, was reporting that they were going to check to see if anybody did not own property in Ocean City. But according to Mayor Rick Meehan, he said that the Ocean City, Maryland Police Department are not going to be checking the driver's license of out town visitors, but noted that Governor Larry Hogan's stay-at-home order is still in place. So if I do get word if Larry Hogan's going to go into phase one sometime next week, I will be making a video regarding that. Okay, so there we go. Okay, I don't really want to read any more. So here's the bad news. People tape, uh, police tape blocked entrances to the dunes and signed warm people to the beach and boardwalk remain closed. Several people ignored that today. Still, many residents said they believed that the mayor made the right call to reopen the beach now. So, uh, you know, bottom line is, I'm, I'm hoping that this has some kind of normalcy. Okay, um, Delaware beaches remain closed and have no decision they have made on when they will reopen. Hotels and short-term lodging rentals in Ocean City remain closed to everyone except the central workers. However, I will mention that back on Thursday, I can confirm this, Mayor Rick Meehan announced at the moment that rentals in Ocean City, Maryland can start on May 23rd. So if you are looking to rent, I would suggest if possible, give Long and Foster or Coldwell Banker a call as soon as you can sometime during the week because those reservations are going to book up very fast. And um, one last point before I play the video. Um, a couple of events have not been canceled in Ocean City. 
The uh, White Marlin Open is still going to happen in August, but I'm assuming that could still happen without spectators. Um, fireworks will still happen on July 4th. Sundays in the park, and I think another park event near the inlet still happening, but that's probably going to get canceled. So I'm still hoping that the fireworks will happen on July 4th. I think that can be done, uh, especially how um, I'm right by Northside Park in my unit, so I can definitely see the fireworks from there. Worst case scenario. I haven't heard of Fenwick's not doing their fireworks. That's a good question. Um, so fireworks are still going to happen in Ocean City, but if I hear anything, I'll keep you posted. So that, thank you all for watching. I will now conclude the video by playing the report from WJZ, the CBS affiliate in Baltimore. Thank you all for watching. The beach and boardwalk will be back open in Ocean City tomorrow. That's where we find WJZ investigator Mike Helgren tonight with the impact the virus is having there. Hey, Mike. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Vic. It's chilly, windy, and rainy out here right now. It's not going to be great tomorrow either when the beach does reopen. You can see what the entrances to the dunes look like right now. They're blocked off. They've got these signs up encouraging people to practice physical distancing. They're here on the beach, and they're also on the boardwalk. Let's take a look at that right now. There aren't a whole lot of people out there at this moment, but there were a lot more earlier today, and we've seen a few people on the beach too. Many people were counting the minutes ahead of the reopening of Ocean City's famed beach and boardwalk. On Friday, several ignored the closed signs and enjoyed both anyway, and believe the mayor here made the right call to reopen early. I think something has to give a little bit, uh, and it has to start somewhere. They should know by now to stay six feet apart, and I think it's a good idea. But it won't help hard hit small businesses. I own several stores in different uh, in different cities and it's been devastating. But there's no business. We're down 80%. Bruce Krasner, the owner of the T-shirt factory, a chain of stores, hopes he can survive. I've been on this beach for 40 years. It would be a sh shame if I didn't survive this. I mean, it's, it's you know, it, it could go that way. It's very possible. You know, even if it's a good summer, it's still not going to make up for the 80% that we're down. In my wildest dreams, I could not have even uh, imagined this uh, having such a stronghold on, on business. Signs are up warning people to social distance and police are on patrol. The mayor told us he was too busy to talk, but said earlier this week he hopes people behave themselves. We have to look to people to do the right thing. Uh, the governor's stay-at-home order, uh, if you look at that, most people have complied. If it's going to start to get out of hand, um, we may be right back where we were. People are going to be excited, so they're not going to want to have it shut back down on them, so let's keep our fingers crossed. And another live look at one of the signs that they have up here. And even if you do come, you can't stay in a hotel unless you're an essential worker. And that order is still in place at least through May 22nd. To our north in Delaware, they are not reopening the beaches to the public yet. Reporting live in Ocean City, Mike Helgren, WJZ.